Paul de Grau, vous enseignez Paul de Grauer, à la you teach at the London School of Economics and the University of Leuven. You've been following the Greek crisis closely. In the end, if Greece leaves the euro, would that bring about a financial disaster? It would certainly be a disaster for Greece. But your question is on whether it would be a disaster for the eurozone. In the short term, I think that it's manageable. We have now a range of tools which can be used to stem the kind of contagion that could happen. The problem is in the long run. If Greece leaves the single currency, that means that monetary union is not permanent. And so that means in the future, when there are new economic shocks, such as a recession, the questions will be asked. Where is the weak point? which country could leave, and that would destabilize the Eurozone. I'd like you to comment on some figures that you know well. The countries most exposed to Greek debt. Germany has 56 billion euros, France 42 billion, Italy 37 billion. Do these countries have any chance of getting their money back? Not a 100% chance, that's clear. In fact, one needs to focus on the fact there's already been some losses. The amounts we saw just there are nominal amounts. There has been some implicit restructuring. The maturity of the debt has been extended, the interest rate cut. If we calculate the actual value of what Greece has to pay in the future, we come to a figure that is much less than the amount lent. So there have already been losses, but governments don't dare to tell it to their taxpayers. Aux contribuables. So some debt has already been lost. Yes, about 50% of Greek debt has already been lost according to my calculations. What's the point of it all if we don't tackle the key problem in Greece today? It's the inability, or at least the huge difficulties, that Greece has in collecting taxes. A malfunctioning administration where there is corruption and cronyism. Why has there been no progress there in the past five years, especially since Europe put Greece on financial life support? There has been progress in some areas. There has been a reduction in the number of civil servants, reforms of the pension system, no land registry, no taxes for ship owners. There are a lot of things to do. These things have to be done, but the most important issue is the fact that austerity imposed upon Greece has pushed the economy into the abyss. What would it take for Greece to be able to survive without help and become economically viable? First of all, stop with austerity. It hasn't worked. It has reduced the ability of Greece to pay its debts. Will that be enough? What industry is there in Greece? It imports a lot. Greece had growth rates in the past, so of course, one part of that growth was unsustainable, but before that, Greece saw growth. To say Greece can't grow doesn't make sense.